okay welcome back to the channel again today it's going to be something a little bit different to the other videos i call it a little bit different um yeah we, i'm gonna do another video on these i unboxed them a, it was a week a week or so ago um, and part of that video i talked about how with mx ones in particular i'm never really like adamant on my out of 10 rating on that pair until i've relaced um in the video, I cut away and showed the image, um, and obviously this is the relaced one. And I had a subscriber since comment on the video asking me if I could make a video showing the process to get from this to this. Um, I'll shoot an image up here. Big said, big ups to yourself. Hopefully I'm saying your name correctly. Um, so yeah, this is that video, I guess. I'm gonna relace this one. Obviously this is already done. Um, and I was thinking about it today in terms of like style to do the shot in and I think face on is going to be a bit weird I'm going to have my head down the whole time like it's not going to come across well so I'm going to do a top down um, video like my old style um, of shooting and I'll be narrating through as I kind of like go through none of it's rocket science it's all like it's just releasing a pair of shoes but I'll just kind of give a step by step um, I think, think thinking for me this is kind of similar to the casino reshape um, video that I did um, what would have been last summer um, in that it's kind of just like general it's general knowledge I don't know if that's the right term but like a general kind of like sneaker hints and tips type of category um, yeah so that's that's what we're here for cue the video so all you need a pair of shoes and a foot and because of the way we're shooting this video I'm going to use the trusty old shoe tree instead um, yeah clear up now um so this is obviously the side that we're gonna relace um i have already unlaced um for you guys's convenience because you don't want to watch me do all of that that'll be really boring <laughs> um cool so the first step that what i always do is create a little excess here and then flatten them both against the edge so that they're both completely flat pull them up like you see mj doing in the um, in those memes and just basically pull it taut and that way you know that both laces are starting from a, a place where um, the two lengths the two uh, laces are the same length if you get any kind of roll up like that what I tend to do is you don't want to start on a bad note it's starting to roll over so just pull it out straighten it back up again and kind of just like push it back through apologies if the screen is a little bit shaky i typically would have the camera set up off the desk but obviously i'm doing this quite quickly because i don't really shoot top down anymore so i've just literally positioned it like just now so yeah there we have the two laces um the next step is obviously to just start lacing um and what i'll say off from the jump it does not matter which one you lead first with, as long as you do it for every hole in this shoe, and then you also copy for this one. So here you can see on that first one, I went in on the first one because the one that goes in is under. So you can see I went in first, and going in obviously goes, the other shoe would be here. Going in means going to the middle. So first lay, so I'm gonna go in. Um, as I've said in, in, in videos before, I'm a complete anal retentive. So every shoe that I relace, I start by going in. It's just, I can't sleep at night if I don't, I'm joking, but I am a complete anal retentive. So I always do that. So there we go in. And then you just basically just can keep repeating that process. I am actually gonna have to redo this one because it started to roll on that first bit, but because it's it's perfectly aligned. We can check after this round um, of laces and they should still be the same length. There you go, pull that through. And remember, when you're doing these, especially down the bottom there, leave it a little bit less tight than you would expect. You don't have to do this every eyelet you get to, but I'm just gonna do it now for the video purposes. The length is still perfect. Look, you can see there, they're exactly the same. So. We went, first we went in and then we went out. So we're gonna take the lace 
that went out because that went second for the first eyelet and now it's going to go first for this one and what that will do is create the symmetry that you see with this other side where this the one that goes this way from that side to that side is always on top can you see see that on top on top on top on top on top and that just looks so much better um uh, at least for me it does um so yeah same thing now so back across again and again remember leave it slightly looser than you might end up wanting it whoops my bad um slightly looser than you may end up wanting it um because you can always tighten it's much more difficult to untighten at this point we've done three of six i never use these top eyelets up here so we're halfway usually i put my foot in at this point to help because of the nature of shooting this video that's not going to work well <clears throat> so i'm just gonna oh there's extra padding on here oh, my bad that's not going to work well for the purposes of this video so i'm going to shove this in and this is basically just to make sure that you're kind of like i guess replicating what's going to be happening when it's actually on a human's foot so so again this one this side is top uh, the top on that side what i'll do now is i'll choose uh, this eyelet this is the one that goes through the the tongue tab so we feed this first one through the tongue tab Again, making sure it's flat, not loose, but also not too tight. And then the second one, what I do is I go over the top. So I'm not going through that with the second one. And what that generally tends to do, again, you can see it here, is it masks. So we're using the functionality of that tongue tie to make the tongue not slip around, but we're concealing it. Because it is a bit of an eyesore, to be honest. Um, it's not the best. Also, what I always generally tend to do is make sure the one that went, see here, the one that went through here goes to the second to last hole. Um, actually, there you go. So it should be going to this hole. So I've realized I've made a mistake. So we undo this. And what we need to do, this is why being an anal retentive sometimes really pays off is actually the second to last hole is the one that should be going through. And I did have the benefit of being able to do the pair that I'm comparing to whilst on foot, so. So that goes through. Again, we reverse the other side. And now remember from before, the first one goes through the tongue tab. And that stops the tongue from rolling about the place. And then the second one doesn't because it hides the use of it. There you go. So it's now hiding the use of that tongue tab. Remember again, it went over last time. So it goes under this time or first. It went second last time. So it goes first this time. Boom. And then the second one. Just like that. Oops. It's happening here. There. So now we have the two of them and they both look pretty similar now. Um, this is obviously not done as well as that first one because I've rushed it for you guys, but hopefully you get the point. What I generally tend to do at this point is I will pull these top ones out until the laces are exactly the length that I want to do a bow tie. So you can see the top two are really out, right? This is about what I want. I think it reaches just past the toe in full length. And now to do the knot, so I always go left side, closer to the toe, go back under, and make sure they're both flattened out so then neither of them are curling. There's your knot. And that when, when I think to myself, okay, this is good, usually it's because that knot doesn't pass 
the edge of the lacing on either side. It slightly does here on this side. Um, that's just because this is a bit rougher than I'd like, but it's not that bad for like a non on foot first tie. And then what I do to take up the slack is you just kind of like gently pull these ones through to really take up that slack um, right through the shoe. There you go. And you just kind of keep taking the slack, taking the slack until they even out. And then you're left with two sets of laces that work pretty well. And welcome back. Um, yeah, hopefully that was useful. Um, again, like always, shoot questions through. Um, a, if you like the nature or style of video, B, if you have any like thoughts, opinions, challenges, feedback, anything like that. Um, and C, if you have any, yeah, just like general kind of questions that you want to ask me, um, always welcome. Um, yeah, shoot them through. Um, as always, really enjoyed making the video. Hopefully you enjoyed watching it. That's it from me. Over and out.